question number 4 a part deals with what yes mechanical waves so when you have to develop this concept first you need to work out with the mechanical wave what is unpolarized wave you take a string and from this end you make oscillations in all planes string can oscillate in all planes this is how you mark it like it can oscillate in all planes like if you hold a string like this you are creating oscillations in all planes so this is unpolarized unpolarized light or unpolarized in this case we are dealing with what mechanical wave string now the next step is in case you place a slit a cardboard at this point you have oscillations in all planes what about after this that is the arrangement is this one of this type there is a slit so on there is a string passing through this on the other side you create oscillations in all plane the oscillation which is parallel to this the oscillation which is parallel to this will pass through this what would the other oscillations the one which is perpendicular to this the one which is perpendicular to this slit won't pass through the same any other wave which is inclined at certain angle its a parallel component will pass and perpendicular component won't pass means what when the ray passes through the same then if you mark earlier oscillations say this is oscillation 1 other oscillations are say perpendicular to this so here also there is oscillation which is parallel to this and one oscillation which is perpendicular number of oscillations are there so you can divide it either you have waves parallel to this or perpendicular or if there is any other wave inclined at angle you can make its two components one is parallel component second is a perpendicular component the outcome is this one the one which is perpendicular sorry the one which is parallel it will pass through it will pass through the slit and you receive a wave on the other side so when i receive wave on the other side i have oscillations only parallel to the slit and all other oscillations are cut down this is oscillation in one plane only is termed as yes plane polarized wave time with you is 2 minutes 2 minutes to write and the device which does it is polarizer so what is a polarizer is a device which converts unpolarized wave to polarized this is string transverse only transverse wave yes before you get the next one longitudinal wave yes is it possible to polarize a longitudinal wave for a longitudinal wave oscillations are always parallel to direction of a propagation so longitudinal wave cannot be polarized it is only transverse wave 
which can be polarized. Two minutes with you to write. Next step in the experiment. You have placed one, one say this case slit for light it is a crystal polarizer. So first step is that this first polarizer, first material has converted unpolarized to polarized wave. If you place one more, this is one, you place one more, one possibility that you place it parallel. In case you place it parallel, the wave which is passing through one will also pass through the second one. But if you place it perpendicular, then what? If you place it perpendicular, the position is like this. This slit is perpendicular to the previous one. So now the oscillations, those are passing through this one R, oscillations passing through first R, oscillations passing through first R, oscillating parallel to this. So it is this one, this wave polarized. Now you are placing another one in this way, horizontal. The wave which is moving like this perpendicular, when it passes to the second one, yes, it would not be able to pass to the same. Why? Because the slit is perpendicular. What is the outcome? Nil, no wave. That means place one, place another one, if the two are perpendicular, the outcome will be nil. That means if I place it parallel, I will have this wave, same. If I rotate it and if I make this angle 90 degree, the outcome is zero. So this is analyzer because the first one has converted unpolarized light to polarized. The other one is used to check whether the coming wave is polarized or not. How? When you rotate it, if the energy varies, intensity varies, that means this wave is polarized. If there is no change in energy, intensity, then this wave is unpolarized. So purpose of the second one is what? To check, to analyze whether the coming wave is polarized or not. Time with you is two minutes. Light. What about light? Yes. Light is a transverse or longitudinal transverse wave. So it can be polarized. So source of light. What type of light? Unpolarized light. Normal light available from bulb is unpolarized because atomic oscillations can be in a, any plane. So what you get is unpolarized light. This is how it is represented. This unpolarized light will pass through a crystal. You term this as a polaroid. You use it for the goggles, Ray-Ban goggles. They use the same material. The one which has ability to convert unpolarized light to polarized light. 
this will reduce the energy to 50 percent to be proved. If 100 unit of energy is available, it will reduce to 50 percent. What is the application? Rayban goggles, normal light available outside is 100, the goggles will reduce that energy to half 50 percent. Advantage, less light in a normal daytime will mean your eye is relaxed, energy available on your eye is relaxed. There is a technical advantage. One, so polarizer will do what? Yes, it will change the oscillations to only restrict the oscillation only to one plane. So, what you get is polarized light. And if you place another Rayban goggle, that is the right way to check it, whether it is original or not. Then one Rayban goggle, these are the oscillations. Place another Rayban goggle and keep on rotating. And when you place them perpendicular to each other, this is the scenario, the light coming out is zero. That is the way you can check whether it is original Polaroid or not. Take one goggle and rotate the other one. So, the energy intensity coming out is zero. So, again same diagram, time is two minutes. Draw, redraw the diagram, no change, only the diagram, redraw the diagram, two minutes. <coughs> 